have you ever wondered how you can build a career as an influencer? Yes, it is a job, I guess. We'll find out. So let's hear the answer from Chief Commercial Officer, officer at Famous All Stars, Mas Arif. Hello. Hi, Mas Arif. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. All hello. right. How are Hi. you, Mas? How are you guys? So, very good, thank you. So let's go straight to our first question here. Influencer, can, can mm -hmm. you define it? Uh, to today's meaning, uh, yeah. Uh, what is it? What is an influencer? Right. <laughs> I think I see the hesit the hesitance from you guys when you know you want to call yourself an influencer. Right? <laughs> yes, I saw that. Because... <laughs> no, before before you answer this question, I would not be able to say anything. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait for your explanation. <laughs> All right. All right. So, influencers is actually a part of you know an ecosystem where. Uh, people can actually influence uh, other people to do something, mm. you know. Uh, and 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 I think when you're talking about influence, you know, you can influence through your action, you can influence through your contents, and so on and so on. And with the rise of social media, many many people is actually, you know, uh, they upload, you know, their contents. So the bigger industry is called creator economy, where where you know influencer is it's it's a part of the creator economy. Well, mm. where people are content creators. Mm -hmm. So if you if you create if you create content and upload it onto social media or internet, mm -hmm. then you you can be an influencer. You know, so so you can influence people to actually do something through your content. Mm. So no matter that the, the, the influence is going to bad or good directions, you're still an influencer. Yeah. Right. You know what, yeah, what, yeah. what? I mean, I mean, influence can go both ways, right? right. Yes, that's right. right. All that's right. right. One follow-up question to yeah. you, Masarif. Uh, can you create content but not be an influencer? <laughs> uh, I... I, I think I think every content that you you find on the internet or social media, mm -hmm. it will influence you uh, in one way or another. Mm, right. You know, for example, even 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 it's 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 a you know it's a trivial content, but it creates uh, the thinking on your mind that you know it influences your 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 behavior or your knowledge probably. Mm, right. So you can you you know you you're an influencer. Right. It it doesn't matter what what you know what number of followers that that you have. Mm. Right. Uh, I think I think I think the 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 keywords of influencer it's influence, right? Right. And and you can you can actually influence from all the contents that you are you are producing. Right. Okay. But but okay. Uh, back in the days, influencer is is not considered a job, right? I mean, uh, let's be honest. That's yeah, how no. we all think. But nowadays, would you say that influencer okay. is a real job? Because sometimes if I see people uh, calling themselves influencer, I'm like, but what do you actually do? Do you go to work or what, right? <laughs> so can you please elaborate on yeah. that? So is that a real job or not? It's an interesting question. I mean, is it a real job? What does real job mean? You know, I mean, mm. I mean do you have to have a, an office to call, you know, to call it a job? Mm -hmm. I mean. Mm. I think I think if if a job means that you can get something out of it, whether financially or or a privilege or something, I think I think we can call it that as a job. Right. Mm. You know, I think I think I think the the profession as an influencer or content creator, mm -hmm. I think it it's it's growth exponentially over the last five years. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you see if you see people and 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 I think I think. Nowadays, uh, even though you are, you know, you have followers of one thousand or two thousand, mm -hmm. you can actually call yourself an influencer mm. because you can actually influence people to do something. Right. Mm, I see. So, uh, from your point of view, which part of the industry mm -hmm. that has been, um, you know, drawn lots of attention and also lots of business in it? Uh, is it like health mm -hmm. and beauty? Uh, I mean, health and fitness. Beauty yeah. or um, travel, travel mm -hmm. or, or machinery, uh, automotive, I mean, lots of it. Which one attracts uh, the business the most? Okay, so so from you know from from the company that I run, uh, I think for the last two or three years, mm -hmm. we see a lot of uh, demands from the brands in mm -hmm. terms of influences from uh, F and B industry and. Uh, music industry and and 
you know, uh, beauty and also a uh, healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and, and I think I think there's one that also has been around for a long time. It's it's electronics, you know, it's a it's mm. a you know a gadget you know gadget influencers mm. uh, because because we do we do wants to know you know we do wants to hear the review from mm. from from people in terms of gadgets uh, F&B food and beverage mm. uh, lifestyle and so on so so those are the the, the industry that 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 has lots of uh, you know uh, group of influencers if you you know if you can say so you know so mm, right. those are the industry that that actually uh, have uh, bigger demands in terms of uh, influencers uh, in Indonesia. Right, right. You know that this is all very uh, interesting. So my my question is, you know, when you uh, become an influencer, sometimes we ask this question. So what is this guy famous for? What is this uh, person famous? Uh, not famous for? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you have. Uh, content that is not really quality mm -hmm. but you have a lot of a demand for such content how do you think uh, mm -hmm. you know the, the ecosystem can maintain good quality and good influence when there are the yeah. bad sides of it even more to <laughs> even more and even more on demand what yeah. do you think Masari? I think yeah I think I think lots of influencers nowadays have that kind of pressure to create something viral or things mm -hmm. that will you know grow their influence you know their followers agree i think i become... agree to that <laughs> right i think i think to become a good influencer i think you have to know who are your audience right you don't have to you know to be as you know as as big as will smith for example <laughs> but i think i think <laughs> i think in terms of influencing uh for example me i only have like a thousand you know a thousand followers but I'm sure if I want to, if I went to a restaurant, for example, and I say that, hey, this restaurant has a good food, mm -hmm. I'm sure half of my followers will believe what, you know, what what I'm saying. You right. know? So, mm. so I think I think that kind of people people wants to hear uh, from someone that they are familiar with mm -hmm. or mm. someone that they can trust. Uh, so, so I think I think the influencing part is sometimes that people forget to you know to 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 think about you know mm, they right. just create something that that actually they want to be viral whether it's controversial or whether it's bad mm -hmm. or you know mm. i think i think it has to go back to the you know why are you doing why are you creating the content mm. you know i think i think that's that's the thing that that you have to think about you know right well uh, this is actually interesting because uh, lots of people doing those kind of things to, to find mm. uh, uh, themselves being viral because they want to gain mm. as many followers as mm -hmm. they can. Yes. But in your point of view, uh, in your uh, business, mm. how do you see mm. an influencer uh, uh, gaining uh, lots of followers in this case? How do they develop that, uh, that matter? Okay, so I think to become an influencer, you need to be. I think this is this is something that people usually forget. I mean, mm. when when you are viral because of uh, something, you know, unbecoming or, or something, mm -hmm. you know, brands also see that, and mm. they, you know, they they don't want to have a relationship with you at the end. Mm. You know, I think I think to become a good influencer or a good content creator. You have to be genuine, be original. I think I think that's the point of creativity that 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 yeah that you have. And I think knowing your audience and engaging, you know, engaging with your followers, uh, I think it's something that's also important. Mm -hmm. uh, I think when when you talk about you know influencers and the brands, brands and influencers, I think it's a it's a interdependent. You know, uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. There's there's some kind of symbiosis, mutualism there. Mm -hmm. You know, they. You know, so so I think if you if an influencers want to have it, want to work for the brand and the brand want to work with the with the influencer, mm -hmm. there has to be a you know a genuinity in there. You know, you genuinely want to have relationship with the brand. You genuinely want to get to know the brand. You know, I think it's something that that 
that lots of people actually forgetting you know mm. that that you have to be genuine you have to be original in your content making okay so Arif, from your um so you were saying that it is possible for somebody who have less or not a lot of followers on social media to receive endorsement by a brand so they can be called as an influencer as well of we got that right and now before we talk about yeah. how to maintain a relationship with a client or a brand, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people would want to know too, like what's the first step to become an influencer? Like oh, what, yeah, what do you have to do? <laughs> Unless you're like already an, an actor or an actress and have follow a big following. Yeah. But if you're, you're just starting clean sheet, first thing to do, what yeah. do you have? I think, I think influencers nowadays or content creators nowadays, I think there's one keyword that needs to be remembered. I think it's consistency. Mm. I mean, it doesn't matter whether whether you create something, but if you're not consistent about it, then people people will not see your content often. You know, right. I think there should be a consistency in terms of your uh, content creation. So, uh, and I think I think it has. You know, you you have to play uh, your strength into your you know your. Uh, your content creating, you know, whether you are strong at your words or mm -hmm. copywriting, for example, mm -hmm. or you are strong at your uh, photo taking. Mm. So, so I think you have to know you have to know what's your strong point in terms of creating the content. Mm -hmm. I think I think people there are lots of people right. that love influencers that that have a skill in storytelling, right. something that trivial but they can tell it, you know very you know very nicely mm -hmm. and people are excited to 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 hear their their stories you know right 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 masara it's very interesting that you said about uh, consistency so uh, my question is does yeah. the algorithm prioritize quantity more than quality then because you said that if you're not consistent mm -hmm. then if, how, even how good your content mm -hmm. is no one's going to see it yeah yeah i think algorithm uh, has a part uh, you know, plays a final part in terms of that. You know, if you're not consistent, people will not be able to engage with, with your content, right? Mm. I think many influencers, even though, you know, they have big followers, their engagement is actually very, very little. Right. Mm -hmm. But uh, there, are, there are lots of influencers who has only 1,000 or, I mean, 100,000 or 200,000, but their engagement, you know, they are engaged with their followers. They talk to their followers. Uh, they reply to their, you know, to their, uh, to their questions and those kind of things. And that actually impact to the algorithm that they, right. you yeah. know, the algorithm from 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 their, you know, from their social media yeah. assets, because people people see it, people interact with it, people engage with their contents, and and there's like kind of conversations happening. Yeah. So, so people really want to see your content, you know? Right. Okay, one last question, Arik, before uh, we close this conversation. Uh, which one yeah. does brand uh, want the most? I mean, looking uh, for yeah. the most. Uh, is it the engagement mm -hmm. rate or the big following? I think uh, there are lots of, you know, there are, there are many changes happening in the last year or so. Uh, before brands really look at following as 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 the most important mm -hmm. thing, yeah. but nowadays uh, people, you know, brands see engagement as something right. something see. that they they can see. Although I, I don't want to discredit people, you know, influencers who have you know who have a huge following, mm. you know, it means that their reach is actually bigger mm -hmm. than the smaller influencers. Yeah. So there are there are roles that they play in the in the in the marketing funnel or the marketing campaign that that brands do. So you know whether you have large following or smaller following, I think I think uh, brands you know wants to work with with many level of influencers because they have different roles. Right. All right. So that being said, we are influencers. <laughs> there you go. There's the answer. You, are, you guys are influencers, yeah? <laughs> All right. Well, you know, that cleared up a lot of questions and curiosities from us. Thank you very much, uh, Mas Adi, for your time. You know, stay healthy and, you know, uh, be successful with your company. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.